In this video, I'm going to show you the Excel skills for section 6.3, which is constructing a confidence interval for a proportion. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we have all of our values. So our sample size n, in this case, is 2,450. And then x represents the number of successes. Let's see, it says a survey of 2,450 golfers showed that 281 of them are left-handed. Construct a 98% confidence interval for the proportion of golfers that are left-handed. All right, so the number of left-handed golfers that we have is 281. So our point estimate, p hat, is going to be our x divided by n. So this tells us that in our sample, about 11% of golfers were left-handed. So now we need to do our check. We need to check n times p hat and n times q hat. Well, in order to do that, we need to know what q hat is. p and q are complements. p is the probability of success, q is the probability of failure. So if we do 1 minus p, that's going to give us q. So q is 0.8853. So to do our check, we need to do n times p hat, which will be 2,450 times our 0.1147 number. And then we need to do n times q hat. So that's 2,450 times 0.8853. And both of those are greater than 5, so we're good. Our sample isn't weird or crazy, and we can verify, or we can approximate this using the normal distribution. So next up we need to do is come up with our critical value, ZC, and ZC is the area to the left of one tail. Um, you can think of that, if you draw your picture, we've got 98% in the middle, which leaves 2% left over, so there's 1% in each tail. So if you think of just the area to the left of the cutoff for the lower tail, it would be 1%. So to find our ZC, we're going to do norm.s.inverse of just point. 01, because that's the area to the left of that bottom tail. It's half of what's not in the middle portion. So we get our ZC. So next we need our margin of error E. And E is given by ZC, the positive part of it. So that's 2.3264 times the square root of P hat times Q hat divided by n, and the only parenthesis you need is around that square root function. You don't need to add any extra parentheses inside the square root because order of operations will take care of it. So we have our zc times the square root of p hat times q hat over n. Then to get our lower boundary, we take our p hat and subtract our margin of error. And then to get our upper boundary, we take our p hat and add our margin of error. So what we can say is that we are 98% confident that the population proportion, spell proportion there, you can tell I'm a math major, not a spelling major, of golfers that are left-handed is between, it's like that's what, 9.9 .9 7% and 12.97%. So we're 98% confident that the population proportion of golfers that are left-handed is between 9.97% and 12.97%.